Yeah. What's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman YouTube. And I would like to welcome you guys to the NBA playoffs featuring the stat sheet stuffer. Now, a few weeks ago, I let you guys know that I was going to be key gaming the playoffs and that, you know, I was going to try to get through it as quick as I can. But uh, that seemed to backfire. Um, with me key gaming the playoffs, we are now down 3-1 to one against the San Antonio Spurs. Now, I know that this doesn't come to a surprise because the San Antonio Spurs are like one of the best teams in the NBA. But what does surprise me is that we're actually down 3-1 and I have to win three games straight on Hall of Fame against the Spurs. So, you know... One thing that I do remember, you know, in the beginning of the season, I remember when I played the Spurs, and once they start double teaming, it gets fairly easy. So, you know, all I have to do is be aggressive in the beginning of the game, get a couple buckets, get the double team started, and then the assist will start to drop. Once the assists just start dropping, the game is going to get fairly easy for me. Now, right there, I got a little small assist my first possession, but I decided to turn up. You guys can see my signature skills in the top left corner. Um, all you got to do is hit the D-pad if you want to see your signature skills. But what I have for this first game that I'm playing is Deadeye, Floor General, Defensive Anchor, Lockdown Defender, and a Gatorade Prime Pack. Now, the reason that I got the Gatorade Prime Pack is because I want to be so efficient in the first quarter and get posters like that without even getting tired. Now, I was feeling kind of sick when I put Duncan on a poster like that. I was like, yo, I feel like Steve Urkel right now, yo. Do you feel me? Did I do that? <laughs> I know, right? Did I do that? Was that me? Did I just dunk on Duncan like that? I don't know. Maybe I might get him a donut. But, uh... <laughs> Coming up, uh, I'm going to just let you guys know that the Spurs only start off slow. I know it started looking like an early blowout, but the Spurs started getting into transition, started getting into the to their rhythm, and they went on like a 13-5 to 5 run, and then I just said, no, I can't have that. So I got even more aggressive, started forcing shots, and of course with the 99, my player, when you force shots, it's like shooting a, a foul line shot. You're going to make those shots probably about... 80% of the time so you know I was having a whole lot of fun with this grabbing rebounds getting assists and I'm gonna tell you a little something about Austin Rivers before we start uh, the second quarter this dude is a jack I'm gonna just put it like that sometimes you really have to call for the ball or you're not gonna get it back but check out that new jump shot yes it's in the description check it out now the newest digital edition of the Sporting News now available. The Machine, featured on the cover, starting on a playoff contender. He's a name on the rise. Now, in the second quarter, this was something like, let's see if your cheese can beat my cheese. Because, obviously, the Spurs' second team is something to be feared. Danny Green, for instance, can hit a three-pointer from anywhere on the court. And Patty Mills is can do just as much so you know me myself i was using our cheese as well you know picking apart the double team hitting people cutting to the paint so roberts gets the layup now i'm gonna tell you guys this when i'm playing them passing lanes things get ugly very fast now it's going to be a play that you guys see where of course i get them cookies but i just had to show you another assist on the board you know vasquez hitting threes how crazy is that but you guys see me playing those passing lanes getting the cookies now we out on the break i was going to throw it off the backboard but i decided to give him that euro you know what i'm saying sometimes i don't use the euro i don't use the spin layup so you know during the playoffs i'm going to start using those moves more because you know you guys love seeing that flashy stuff now, of course, I'm still grabbing rebounds. I'm still contributing to that triple-double that I want to get. And I've never seen a Minu run the floor like that and dunk on people like that. Maybe he, it's a new him. Maybe it's that uh, that floor general that's giving him that boost. And check out Robin Lopez dunking on Tim Duncan. Hold up. Does, does Steve Urkel have something to say about that? Can I do that? Oh, my goodness. Did you guys see that? I've never seen Robin Lopez do a stand-up dunk, let alone on people. But did you just check me out hitting with that nice little assist in the paint? Yeah, man. Once you rise up and you see that somebody's open, just go ahead and flick it to him. You know what I'm saying? Get that assist because, you know, it's highly needed. But uh, the second quarter is over. I'm very close to a triple-double already. I'm shooting 70% from the field, and I only have one turnover. Now, 
was contributing to me not having as many turnovers as I usually do. I have those plus five custom stat sheet stuffer sneakers on real quick. You know what I'm saying? Them number 87s. So, you know, you might want to create yourself some uh, plus five, you know, passing for, you know, scoring small forward, you know, of that such. But let's get into halftime, y'all. Now, presented by Sprint. What unbelievable postseason action we've got going on so far. This is 2K Sports as we get deeper into round one of the playoffs. The New Orleans Hornets have the lead against San Antonio. They need to win badly, facing elimination here in game five. The Machine scoring with ease against the Spurs. He's got 21 points, has been stellar in both rebounding and defense as well. For the Spurs, though, they've looked out of sync. They've been getting roundly outplayed up to this point, and they'll need a bounce-back effort to make up for it in the second half. A tough start for Tony Parker. His shot has been hitting everything but the net. He just hasn't found the mark. Now, in the start of the third quarter, I noticed that my team pulled away something vicious. Did you just check out Drummond get the cookies from Tim Duncan? And do you see me throwing it off the backboard not having a care in the world? Did I do that? Was that me? Did I just throw that off the backboard? I don't know. <laughs> but I was having a lot of fun in the third quarter. I was getting guys in the paint, getting more assists, getting a double-double real quick. Now, the only thing I'm waiting on is that one little rebound to get that triple-double popping. But until then, I still have to play basketball. I still have to get my team involved. And the Spurs, they are not going down without a fight. But did you just check out the screen that was set by my own guy? Vasquez is like, nah, man, you got to give him a point, man. Give him something, man. Let him get on the board. But uh, one big problem that was going on with the Spurs was foul trouble. It was a lot of foul trouble going on. I'm, I can tell you this right now. Playing on simulation game style, there is nothing but fouls all day long. Like, I don't know what it is about simulation, but when you go in and you get bumped and stuff like that with those uh, fast break layups, it's called for a foul. Reaching fouls uh, count more instead of, you know, when a person reaches and then you pull the ball back and you get stuck in that little animation. Nope, they call them for the foul. You go to the line. But, you know, I'm loving it. But this right here is the last play of the third quarter. You know I had to go up top, man. I had to go up top. But let's get into the fourth. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has a report on our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Hi, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Hornets with the Uncontainable Game Award for the offensive stretch they put together. No signs of them slowing up at all as they are sharp and keep finding ways to extend their lead. Not a lot of teams in this league can pull off a dominating performance like this. Now, by the time the fourth quarter started, we've already pulled away. And what makes it so bad is that you guys know once a blowout happens, they take out the starters, they bring in the secondary guys. So why am I still in the game? Sometimes I wonder why 2K does this to me, but I decided, you know what, since I'm here, I need to do some good, right? So I pass it over to Austin Rivers, and he nails a three with just point something seconds left. I was like, whoa. So I decided, you know what, since he made that shot, I got to reward him again. So I'm putting the moves on Steven Jackson, and you know I had to hit the boy Austin Rivers in the paint with an easy layup. You know, getting a little assist, getting them dimes, you know, doing what I do. But the Spurs aren't done, of course, you know. They got Patty Mills. They got Danny Green coming off the bench. And like I said, when I play my team, I see a lot of those guys as well because, you know, they're cheese. And uh, in this game, they did just as much, you know, putting up crazy points on the board while being in the game. But, you know, it doesn't stop with me. You know, I, I got to do what I do. So, you know, they draw the foul, of course. Like I said, playing on simulation. You're able to get these fouls, go to the line, make these foul line shots. If you're making them, you're going to win the game. Now, um, I think our team shot probably about 22 of them. Now, that's not normal at all. When you're playing on default, you probably shoot maybe five to six, maybe seven foul line shots a game. And to shoot 22 of them, you know that's where the lead came from. You know, us getting to the line, them being in foul trouble early was a big, big thing. 
But like I said, Danny Green, oh my God. This dude cannot miss. They did go on a 14 to five run within like four minutes. But you know, it doesn't stop there with us. You know, I had to come down, you know, slow it down real quick. You know, I don't want to put it in the subtitles or something, but check out this, man. Ch did you guys see that? I just got one question. Do you guys think that turnover should have been counted towards me or to Robin Lopez actually having to hit his hands and look at it as it went out of bounds? Just answer me that question in the comment section because that did piss me off, but I can't be too mad about it because I only have two turnovers. Usually, I probably have six or seven turnovers by the end of the game, but you know, it is what it is. Now, after I win that jump ball, yeah, man, them jump balls be hectic because I don't have the offensive awareness to get through the double team by dribbling through it so i always get caught in those jump balls so you know i hit the nice little jump shot if you want to know what my new jump shot is check the description for the uh release and the base it's in there i'm pretty sure of that but uh we came out with the win slowed it down showed them a little bit of sportsmanship and you know we get the win now we are down three to two um we have two more games left we have to win both these games in order to move on to round two. You see me and Aminu linking up, you know. That right there, I would love to see that all game long with, you know, the player interaction instead of guys looking like robots at the end of that celebration. But uh, let's get into the player of the game and I'll be right back. Since I was a youngin', I've been on the scene. Jump shot me, they call me the machine. I'm cranking out jumpers whenever I want it. Uh, shake the game, baby, you can call me thunder. I'm a beast though, just let me feast though. Feel like I'm ballin' by myself, this is a free throw. I'm lethal, I steal your possession like it was mine. Debo, you throwin' up bricks anyway. Home Depot, I do it my way, Carlito. On South Beach, chillin' so hard, I'm puttin' out the heat though. I got no equal, and hey, I'm a hunter, but I pray like Tebow. I'm on fire and they ice cold Eskimos. I cook a hater like potatoes, never let them stress me out. Fumble through the playbook while the trainer stretch me out. Grab the rock and then we out. Boy, you I grab the rebound. Put it back, big dog, they be like me out. All in all, this was a great game. I had a triple-double. I was 61% from the field, and I was 100% from the free throw line. And did you see them three cookies I got right there? Chips Ahoy. You're on the verge of being eliminated and need to win each of the next two games in order to advance. Does this team have what it takes to make that happen? Yeah, this team is fully capable of pulling this series out. It's been a battle so far, but we've had plenty of tough wins already this year. Now we just need to find a way to get two more, right? I'm confident in our ability to make that happen. It's going to be all about execution from here on out. If we stick to our game plan and play our style of basketball, I like our chances. Now, that's how a team captain is supposed to answer a question. But this is IKC signing out, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Also, don't forget, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, hit me up on Instagram, and please don't forget to like the video if you guys liked it. But this is IKC signing out. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.